the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. This morning we pray the fifth station, Simon helps Jesus carry the cross. Lord, by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. You are the Savior of the world. I don't know who you are, my friend, but thanks for helping me. I really need it right now. Every part of my body hurts from seeing their beatings, but my heart hurts the most. Your name is Simon. Thanks, Simon, for leaving the safety of the crowd to help me. Jesus, you accepted help when things were tough. How willing am I to let others help me, or do I need, need help as a, as a sign of weakness? I can't go through life alone. I have to let people help me along the way, even people whom I don't know very well. Let me be strong in my weakness by trusting the hand that reaches out to me. Mother Francisca Lechner, intercede for us. St. Joseph, pray for us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please recite Saint the Joseph mission Hill statement Academy. of St. Joseph Hill Academy. St. Joseph Hill Academy, a Catholic high school in keeping with Christian values and the traditions of the Daughters of the Divine Charity, seeks to educate and empower young women to be confident, independent thinkers with strong character and leadership qualities who stand ready to meet society's challenges. Good morning, girls. I'm Amma. And I'm Grace. And you're watching Hill TV. Today is day four. Club photos will be taking place on Friday morning, outside weather permitting. Submission and payment for yearbook booster ads is due by March 31st. Seniors, please tell your parents to check their emails for further information. In celebration of Women's History Month, GLI will be having a meeting Monday, March 11th, directly after school. Email Kaylee Nelson or Adriana Dogai if you have any questions. The Crochet and Knitting Club will be having a meeting today after school at 3 p.m. in room 223. Dance practice is today at 3 o'clock in the dance room. Please be on time. There will be an environmental club interest meeting tomorrow after school in the bio lab. All are welcome. Hola, chicas. The next Spanish club meeting will be on Tuesday, March 12th from 2.45 to 3.30. We will be doing a Spanish trivia game, and there will be prizes for the top winners. We will also have churros to eat, so make sure to come. Please sign up on the Google form attached in the announcement email if you are interested in coming. If you have any questions, please email Aaron Harris. The Eastern European Club will be having an interest meeting next Monday, 311. This club will represent all coach cultures of Eastern European countries. We will learn about these cultures through food, food, music, and other activities. You do not have to be Eastern European to join, and everyone is welcome to attend. Please email Emma Moroz or Milena v Vasilyeva with any questions. The Notre Dame Bread of Life Drive is coming up. This bread drive donates food to people less fortunate all over the country but especially those in our own communities. Their motto is fight hunger, not each other. Please bring in non-perishable foods, goods, to put in, the put in the boxes in your homeroom. Some examples are pasta, peanut butter, and canned goods. Let this drive go, well, this drive will go on from March 12th to March 21st. Let's raise the most we can. If you have any questions, email Aaron Harris. Christine de Pizan was an, a medieval writer and historiographer who advocated for women's equality. Her works, considered to be some of the earliest feminist writings, de Pizan became the first woman in France and possibly Europe to earn a living solely by writing. Her husband was unusual for the time in that he supported her educational and writing endeavors. When he died in 1390, she decided against remarrying. She would support her three children through her writing. Her writing discusses many feminist topics, including the source of women's oppression, the lack of education for women, different societal behaviors combating a misogynistic society, women's rights and accomplishments, and visions of a more equal world. De Pizan's work through critical, through critical of the prevailing patriarchy was well received, and it was, it was also based in Christian virtue and morality. On January 20th, 2021, Kamala Harris was sworn in as vice president the first woman, the first black American, and the first South Asian American to be elected to this position. Vice President Harris was born in Oakland, California as the daughter of immigrants. She grew up surrounded by a diverse community and a loving extended family. Vice President Harris was born, uh, both her parents were active in civil rights movements and instilled in her a commitment to build strong coalitions that fight for the rights and freedoms of all people. 
They brought her to civil rights marches and sh sh uh, sh in a stroller and taught her about heroes like Supreme Court Justice Thurgood Marshall and civil rights leader Constance <coughs> Baker Motley. Vice President Harris went on to graduate from Howard University and the University of California Hastings College of Law. In 2014, she married Douglas Emhoff, a lawyer. They have a large blended family that includes their children, Ella and Cole. Happy birthday today to Darian Kelly and Sarah Machia. Today's famous birthdays are Brian Cranston and Jenna Fisher. Today's national days are National Cereal Day and National Carol Day. Today's Irish word of the day is kosh, which means cheese. And there are 92 days until graduation. All right. So, I don't know the famous birthdays. I don't know the famous birthday either. But they sound like famous. Oh, is she? Oh, I just okay. Still don't know. But I, I do know who that is. I also, I think I know. Who, okay, so oh. I know who both of those people are. are they're, they're familiar. I just like um, brain yeah. doesn't work. Okay, um, uh, National Cereal Day. Alma, favorite cereal? Uh, I have to go with Frosted Flakes. I don't know. It may be the overload of sugar in them, but um, you know. Yeah. Honestly, I'd, I would have to agree with you. I think. I think they're good. Possibly. I think they're like a good sugar yeah. kick that you need yeah. in the morning because they probably have so much. You know. um, but yeah, yeah. There are 92, still, 92 <laughs> days till graduation. Yeah, that's um, and I can't believe crazy. it goes by so fast. It does. Um, and it'll just keep going. So yeah, yeah. It's, no time. <laughs> that's all we have for today. I'm Amma. And I'm Grace. And you're watching. Hill TV. Just watched Hill TV. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs>